Celtic world has more than its share of the supernatural, legends, and myth, which sometimes cross the line into reality. I tell those tales here on Dark Celtic History. <laughs> the Fear Gorges appear as walking corpses with their protruding bones, deathly skinniness, bluish skin, and rotting flesh. They truly are a terrifying sight. They wander the countryside during the start of a famine, asking whoever they encounter for food. Those who give the fear gourd of food are rewarded with lifelong wealth and prosperity. Those who do not will suffer bad luck and poverty. The moral of the story is always to share, but sadly many do not. This is why the Fear Gorda chooses the beginning of a famine, while people are still selfish and desperation has not set in. Their disturbing mission is a good mission, getting people to be generous to those less fortunate. But their rotten brains have caused them to act upon their base instincts, where the most horrific ideas lie. Even when the Fear Gorda lie in their graves awaiting the time where they are needed, the patch of grass that grows above their graves curses anyone who steps upon it with eternal hunger. For everyone is taught to respect a grave, the, the person who does will have a constant hunger until they have a priest remove the curse or the person dies. Now it is hard to realize who the fear Gorda are, so it is best to just treat all of those that are hungry or needy with kindness and sympathy. Selfishness from others feeds the curse that was laid upon them, and kindness is what will drive them back to the fear Gortach. The Great Famine, the Irish Potato Famine, it doesn't really matter which one you use, they are all far too simplistic and in no way outline the despair, death, and devastation Ireland endured for almost a decade at the hands of British tyranny. Class discrimination, religious intolerance, slave labor, deliberate starvation and forced exile, all under the dark skies of a harsh winter after a harsh winter. Now it was this incredibly harsh treatment of an ancient mystical Celtic people that brought forth the fear Gorta, or the hungry man. He is not a man at all, but an ethereal being or fairy. He is associated with famine for two reasons. The first is his dreadful appearance, skeletal and physique, his face is gaunt and haggard, hollow cheeks and angular bones are covered by thinly stretched sallow skin, his emaciated figure a horrific image to behold. His clothing is nothing but tatters and rags and to all intents and purposes he has the look of the walking dead. The second is that he is known to appear during the times of hardship and famine. The fear Gorda can be malevolent or benevolent depending on his mood and the welcome he receives. Of course, those who are unkind will feel his wrath and suffer abject poverty, famine, and ultimately death. In a field near a place called Nakfirna is the center of mystical convergence, which translates as the Hill of the Fairies, a portal to the netherworld. It is also the location of remnants of the dark era of hunger. The hollow husks of famine cottages, a reminder of the hollow husks of humanity that dwelt within. These two tales of their origins, of the same haunting tales, live side by side, history and lore entwined. So when a stranger knocks upon your door on a cold and dreary night and asks for something to eat, give it willingly, be kind, and you will be safe. <laughs>